in our last lecture we have understood about promises and also we have seen fetch function was returning promise and usually what we do there we consume the promise so in that case we already had a promise with us because promise was returned by fetch api so in almost all the cases using fetch function we consume the promise we will not be building the promise so before consuming the promise in behind we have to build the promise but whenever we are using fetch function we don't have to build the promise directly it is returning the promise and we are consuming that promise now in this lecture i will be showing you the rundown of how promises work i will show you how we have to build the promise then how we have to consume the promise and how we have to chain the promise then later on in this series we will continue and we will work with multiple examples to understand asynchronous javascript and also promises so this is the fetch function we have written fetch inside this i have passed this url and when i did console.log this fetch function has returned with a promise and it is in pending state okay this is the previous example we have seen now let us see how to build the promise so for building or creating the promise we will be using promise constructor so for constructor we will always be using new keyword and here i will be using promise constructor and inside this we have to pass the function and this function will be taking two parameters first is resolve and second is reject so here i will be writing resolve and then i am just going to write reject okay this promise constructor will be taking function and inside that function we will be passing two parameters and this entire result i will be storing inside one variable i will write here const and simply i will be writing my promise and inside this function we will be performing our asynchronous operation and when our asynchronous operation is done we can resolve if it was successful or we can reject if it got failed and inside this simply we can perform our asynchronous operation so let me just write if here i will simply pass one which means it is always successful so once it is done and if you are not having any error and if it is successful we will be calling this resolve and inside this we are going to pass final result okay whatever result we get from asynchronous operation directly we are going to pass inside this resolve else we are going to reject here simply i will be writing error okay very simple to create promise we should be using promise constructor and this promise constructor will be taking function and inside this function we will be passing resolve and reject as its parameter and inside this function we are going to perform asynchronous operation and if this operation is done then we are going to resolve if it is successful or else we are going to reject if this got failed okay this is how we are going to create promise let me write the comment i will write create promise later on we will be working with examples or you can also call it as building a promise i will save this now let me just lock this one lock i will simply call this my promise save it now you can see i got promise and it is having fulfilled and i got the result as done so whatever result i get from this asynchronous operation if it is successful then using this resolve i am having this result here if i pass zero which means it is failed now i will be having rejected and here i will be having the message which i have passed here now simply i will be writing one so now using this what we have done we have returned the promise similarly fetch function was returning the promise once we have the promise with us then what we have to do we have to consume the promise so that is the next step here 
I will be writing consume promise. For consuming the promise, simply what we will do, we will be writing our promise name dot then. So if our asynchronous operation was successful, then that will be handled by then method. If we are having some error, then that will be handled by catch method. So inside this then simply I will be passing this result. Okay, this is the syntax. We are passing function. And again, inside this function, simply I will write here lock. And here I will write I am successful. I will save it. Now you can see I got the result as I am successful. Now if I am having some error, then simply we have to catch it inside the catch block. You do not have to worry how this is working. Later on, we are going to work with multiple examples to understand then method and catch method. This is only the overview to understand how we build a promise and how we consume promise. And inside this catch method, again, we will be passing one parameter error. And simply, we will be displaying the message as I am failed. Here, I will write I am failed. Save it. Now, my promise, as I have given this one, so this will always be true and we will be inside if block. So, my operation is successful. As soon as I get resolve method, then inside this, whenever we are consuming the promise, inside this then method, whatever data I am having, that will be displayed. Now, if I just want to display this message here, simply I will copy and here I will be writing that result. Save it. Now you can see whatever message I have passed here, that will be displayed. So this is my successful operation. And here if I just write 0, then I will be getting I am failed. So whatever result I have passed here, that I will be getting. Without this, let me just comment this out. I was getting this error, uncaught in promise error. But here, what I have done, I have just caught the promise. So that is the reason I got this message, I am failed. So this is the first step. You have to create the promise. And if our asynchronous operation is successful, we are calling this resolve method. Once it is successful, while consuming the promise, inside that then method, that is going to run. And if our asynchronous operation got failed, then reject method will be called. And we will catch that error inside this catch block. Here I will simply write here error, save it. Now whatever message I will be passing it here, that will be displayed for me. Error has occurred. Let me just write here, save it. Now you can see, now I will be getting this message, error has occurred. But when we are using fetch, you do not have to write this entire thing. Directly inside this, we can call then method. Then if you are having any error, we can use catch method. Later on, we will see this. Now, let us see how to chain promises. Now, we have built the promise. We have consumed the promise. Now, let me show you how to chain promises. Below this, I will be writing chain promise. I will just copy this entire thing. Copy, comment. Below this, I will be pasting. And here, as of now, I will assume my operation is successful. Now I will come down. Now what I want, whatever result I get from here, I just want to chain it with another then method. So here simply I will be writing data. And inside this log, simply I will be writing I am here. Save it. Now you can see I got the result as I am here. Now how this is working? So first, I have constructed the promise. Then using this then method, whatever result I got from here, that will be executed. Now again, I have just changed the promise for this result. So based on this result, if I want to perform any other operation, then I can change the promise and I can display the result. In our Ajax example, we have already seen once we receive country data, Based on that country data, we have to fetch borders data. So similarly, if one operation is dependent on another, then we can change the promise and we can get the result. 
so this is how instead of using multiple callback functions we can change the promises and we can escape from callback hell later on we will see more practical examples and understand more about promises in javascript